It's Wellness Wednesday, and this segment is sponsored by Rehab Mobile. In honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we want to talk about how belly fat relates to the disease because obesity is a risk factor for breast cancer. So here today to help us battle against it is Dr. Toby O'Kate of Rehab Mobile and his patient Keely Rich, who is currently undergoing breast cancer treatment. Dr. Toby, Keely, good to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. Keely, we're so glad you are here with us this morning. I know you are in the midst of everything. Yes. What happened? What's your story with breast cancer? Um, all I can tell you is I was diagnosed in April. Wow. And I found out on a computer by myself and it said that I had metastatic carcinoma of the left breast. Immediately you think you're going to die and you go through a whole lot of emotions. So once I got a hold of myself and knew about my faith and everything, I said I had to get a different attitude about it. Mm -hmm. So the most important thing is that it is okay to get exercise. It is okay to work out. And frankly, everything shows you out there that you read, it will make you feel better. So yeah. if you get a cancer diagnosis, you don't have to just sit home and feel bad about it. You know, yeah. and you got to get your head game and your physical game together, and your experience will definitely be a lot better. Yeah, I love that attitude. It's a great attitude. attitude. Yeah. yeah, of course. We, we know exercise is great for us overall, but especially when you're going through yeah. um, something with your health, for sure. And Dr. Toby, what about belly fat? What is the relationship here with cancer? Well, belly fat is an important uh, risk factor because it's related to obesity, and there are a lot of conditions that are also uh, indications that when you have obesity and belly fat, that that can be a problem as it relates to other diseases like cancer and you know um, diabetes, things like that. So we want to actually target one of the risk factors that we can actually control. Yeah. With breast cancer, there are a lot of uh, uncontrollable risk factors like your age, gender is one, and so many other factors like mutations of genes. Mm -hmm. But we want to be able to target what we have our control of, right? So that's kind of the thing we want to be able to do. Well, obviously not saying belly fat causes breast cancer, right, but it definitely no. increases your risk. It increases your risk significantly. Okay. And we're talking about like that omental fat, not just like overall, right? right. Are yeah, you, we it's all very have a specific. healthy uh, amount of fat that our bodies need, but when we have excessive abdominal fat mm -hmm. or fat in the visceral region, which is surrounding some of our vital organs, that's when it becomes a little bit more concerning. Okay, okay. you're going to show us some ways to combat this belly fat, right? I sure right? am, Okay, yeah. what you got for us? All right, so one of the things that we want to do for uh, uh, strengthening exercises is targeting those areas two to three exercises per body part to really build that strength and help to combat some of that body fat so we're going to do some dips here so no equipment needed you can just be right at home on a chair and we're targeting the triceps muscle here and again we want to be able to do about 10 to 15 depending on our capacity and our ability but this is a great way to start building strength the other exercises that we can do Whoa. where oh, you're careful Keely where you're on your knees you can get on your knees for us Keely She's gonna put her forearms on the ground just like that, and she's just gonna just uh, do a triceps press. Just lift your elbow straight up. There you go, just like that, and back up and down. And mm -hmm. so the way that this becomes a little bit harder is she moves her legs back or moves them forward closer to her elbows. That's kind of what's gonna make it more challenging, but we're also targeting the core here. You can uh, stop that one. Thank you. And then one of the other <laughs> exercises, I know she's like, Come on, this is tough. come on, Keely, you guys. You're gonna sit on your bottom and have your feet flat for us. Right there, cross your arms across your chest, and you're just gonna lean back. Mm -hmm. And we can make this much easier for her because she has a point of contact through the chair. Okay. Great way to target the abdominal region, build that strength, address that back pain, and some of the aches and pains that can be associated with just you know having excessive abdominal uh, weight, things like that. Mm -hmm. and Keely's showing us how to remember to breathe. You gotta yeah, breathe. You're you gotta doing breathe. good, Keely. There you go. Dr. Well, Kobe, yeah. these look like you can do these anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, you can do these anywhere at home, no equipment needed, and they're very effective when you have the right prescription in terms of the number of exercises that you're doing and what's appropriate for your body. Well, you're watching us right now. You can get get down there on the floor, get your exercises. What other advice do you have for fighters and thrivers to stay healthy and, and keep keep moving forward? Yeah, it's super important to make sure that diet is, is in check, right? Taking in protein, getting a healthy diet as far as balance with your proteins, your fats, your carbs, right? And also exercise, strength training, 30 minutes a day, five days a week. Mm -hmm. That's going to be most likely for people who are not necessarily going through the chemo process. When you're going through chemo and other kinds of treatment, it can be very tough and difficult to set a clear expectation of exactly how many days a week you're going to exercise. But for people who want to be preventative, 30 minutes a day is what's really a great way for you to be able to reduce that risk and really get the body that you want and the health that you want. Yeah. I understand you have a, a 
Better Body Challenge coming up. Yes. Tell us about that. Yeah, so the Better Body Challenge is a way that we're helping the people to really take control of the entire life by addressing one area of their life, which is your health, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of times we feel like our health is on the back burner or like, hey, I'll get to it later. I'm super busy. I have other priorities. But one of the things that I found working with the patients that I work with is when you have a health crisis, it interrupts every area of your life. And so right. we're encouraging people through this Better Body Challenge to prioritize their health so they can prioritize and maximize every other area of their life. Amazing. We want everybody to know Keely is in the midst of treatment and she is here doing it so no excuses thank you both thank you we so much best so of luck. to learn you. more about the five-day better body better body challenge go to rehabmobile.com and you'll get access to their free training on seven mistakes that keep people overweight and overwhelmed all right